All right. So it is October 28th. And Caden and I are gonna go sit in the lazy man stand on the strip food plot. See if uh see if we can get a big old doe to come out in front of us and I can get a shot at her. Um, wind's perfect. They've been coming out pretty frequently, but they're deer, so you never know. But we're gonna get in there and hopefully somebody stay a little quiet. Just a little bit. But either way. We'll see what happens. I'll turn you guys back on once we get all set up. We're all set up in the blind. And now we're waiting. We haven't been in here five minutes and we already broke into the Oreos. So, <laughs> she's not gonna go hungry. We got Oreos, fruit snacks, pretzels, juice. Good enough to keep her occupied for an hour or two. But the wind's perfect, it's coming right across and blowing back out behind us, so they don't have to worry about anything smelling us. It's just gonna be a matter of <coughs> where they come out in daylight or not. It's a little bit cooler today, so there's a good chance of it. But we will see. Only time will tell. It's, I think, a quarter to five now, almost quarter to five, so. I say within the next hour we might see the first deer, but we'll see. Never know. How do you like those pretzels? Um, shooting my Bowtech or Voltex 70 pound with the Sever 150 grain Robusto and my Victory RIP Extreme Velocities. Um, still haven't got to put one of these broadheads through a deer yet, so. Hopefully tonight's the night and you see how well they perform. Shouldn't have any issue. It's a it's a really solid broadhead. So we'll uh, hopefully get to see how they perform here in the next hour or so. But stay tuned.
Hopefully, uh, big old uh, educated dude comes up through and we can get her out. But, yeah, probably 45 minutes left to light or so. So, we got plenty of time. Alright, so that wraps up our night. Um, just had those two year and a, I'm pretty sure they're year and a half old. They didn't look like fawns come out. And then right at dark, a uh, big doe did come out down in the bottom. But she got to about 60 and then turned around and then went back in in the opposite corner, heading back in towards the swamps. So I don't know. I know what that was about. She acted like she was on edge, but her wind. Our wind was fine all night. I don't know if right before dark when it cooled down, if the thermals pulled down towards the swamp or what, but you can definitely tell she was on edge. But we saw a deer, so it's really all you can hope for. But maybe next time we'll actually get something within range and get a shot off. But I'm not sure what Cliff and Kaylee had happened tonight. I haven't heard anything, so I guess we'll see. Until um, next time.